Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Tim here and today I want to show you a couple of cool uh, apps I've found recently that can really help in a lot of productivity. Uh, I do a lot of music production and photo editing and some video editing. Uh, so to me it's pretty important that I have a large amount of desktop space to be able to store uh, thumbnails uh, and uh, you know just kind of spread out my workspace uh, and access files and programs a lot easier. So what you see in front of you right now is just a standard iMac. Um, pretty basic uh, setup here but above I've got a mounted monitor so this is set up as a dual display um, which is really easy to set up if you do have a secondary display around you can just go into the settings and uh, set up a secondary display often it just does it by itself anyways uh, but in this case it allows you to maybe have your thumbnails up here and you can uh, drag it into a program like Photoshop or whatnot uh, very easy to drag and drop between the two on this side over here I've got another monitor which is just set up as a, a portrait. Uh, it's a special monitor, you can tilt it this way, of course it doesn't have to be that way, uh, but in this case it is. Now that monitor is set up from my Mac Mini which is buried behind the displays there. And uh, the other thing I've got here sitting on top of the speaker is an iPad. So first thing I'm going to show you here is a little program called Air Display. Air Display you can pick up in the App Store for about 10 bucks. Might be a little bit pricey, but it's worth every single penny if you do require a little bit more desktop space. Uh, the other thing it does is it works uh, your iPad as a primary display as well. So you can literally uh, drag and drop something in there or open something up on your iPad and take it all over the house and uh, run in Safari or uh, actually a lot of different uh, programs. And it runs it all from your Mac, uh, which is sitting elsewhere in your house very handy application. So in this uh, in this kind of setup here, um, let's see here, so I can take files and drag them over uh, and it just works as a secondary display. Very very cool uh, and of course that works with um, with programs and whatnot. So the other thing that I've got set up here now if I kind of sit back a little bit you can see four displays. Now the trouble with four displays off of two computers is that uh, in order to drag and drop files back and forth between the computers you still have to do something like uh, your, your shared folders uh, or something like Dropbox, uh, email them, chat sessions, whatever. It's a little bit of a process to send them back and forth. Not that bad, but you know we're all in a lazy society. So what I found now um, is an application called Teleport. And what Teleport does is if you uh, sync it on both of your computers, so in this case the iMac um, and, and the Mac Mini, they're synced up with these preferences. And what that actually allows you to do is, um, so over here, I've got a file sitting over here that I would like to send to my Mac. Now I can just drag it over and it shows up on the other computer here. Um, so the, the mouse is moving over here and this is actually the same mouse. So two benefits here, um, and you can see it copied the file over. First benefit is that for two computers, you only need one mouse and keyboard instead of two and two. So we can go down to one mouse and one keyboard uh, to work two different computers and four displays. So here's a couple examples of how uh, this iPad application is actually most useful. Because uh, a lot of people are not going to keep their iPad next to their display. It's kind of small and it's hard to work on. Um, but if you're working with clients on a regular basis, this is one way uh, that it can be very useful if you're sitting at another computer. Uh, now keep in mind that both of these computers can be in different rooms. Uh, they can be in different places of a house or, or a building. So you could, if you want to, you could literally drag a, a folder over uh, onto somebody else's display in another room where your clients are sitting, you can then go in there. Uh, or in this application, you can take the, uh, the file, open it up, so now we've got an image here, and you can actually take the image, uh, I'm just gonna shrink it up for size, um, and you can take this image and you can drag that over to your iPad. Uh, and you've got, a, you've got the exact same image. Now I'm just gonna flip it around um, so you can see um, there you go. And there's no wires attached or anything like that. So now you can take this uh, to your client. You can show them the image. Um, you can go show somebody else in another room what you've been working on and get their feedback on it. So there's that. You can see when I sit it back up like this, whoop, um, that it changes back to portrait, of course. 
and uh, and we can take that back over there. Uh, another thing, I've got a little list over here. So if you want to, you know, if you have a checklist um, that you want to go over with somebody, you can open that up, and uh, and there you go. So now you've got a list, a uh, shopping list or something like that. Uh, you can take that with you. So. Uh, there you go. There you have it. I hope uh, some of this information has been pretty helpful. Um, I think it's a pretty cool couple of applications. I'll put the information and the links in the details of the video so you guys can find everything just fine. Okay, enjoy and uh, take care.